Hey, Pocket Fam. I am so sorry I am late. I am so sorry I'm late. I could give you a gazillion different reasons. The honest reality is I overslept. I decided I needed a nap, so I took one. And when uh, Megan got home and I heard the garage door open, I woke up and I instantly thought, what day is it? Like, I did not know what day it was. I didn't know what time of the day it was. If it was nighttime, if it was morning. Like, yeah, I didn't know. So, hey, Calatina. Hey, Kay. Hey, Ivory. I had no idea. So, I was like, well, we just going to go live. And we're late. But that's okay. Y'all are going to love me anyway. And I understand that. And some people may not get here at all because they're going to think that, whatever happened and I just didn't get to come live but thank you shout out to Safi for sending me a message to see if I was okay Safi sent me a message she's like are you live we good and I was like we're good sorry about that thank you Kay so everybody do me a favor hit that sprinkle I'm sorry my hair's not cute and curly but I literally I hopped out of bed no joke you guys I hopped out of bed went and pottied because y'all know you you wake up from a nap, you got to potty. So, I went pottied, and then um, I found, I was thinking about a shirt. This is Megan's shirt, so I threw this on because it matches the airy look from tonight. Um, and then Megan came inside, wanted a chitty chat, and so I listened to her for a second while I was getting everything together, and here we are. Killed a bug, another bug, bug slayer here. All right, so we are sitting on five. Can we go more than that, or are we frozen? Are we fr frozen, you guys? I don't know if we are or not. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of due date on my forehead. I feel like we are. Crud. Hey, Megan. All right, I see one person just came in. Maybe we're not frozen. Thank you, Kay Marie, for tagging people. Megan, can you sprinkle this out to the group? Thank you, Ivory. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the brows. Let's start with the brows. We are going to go in with Ashen for Trouble on the brows. So I decided that I needed to take a nap today, you guys, when I, I got home and I was, like, so exhausted. First of all, that's, like, my... I didn't tell you my adventures for the day. So Megan and I... Last night, when we were coming home from the show, we stopped at the post office. And as I was coming out from the post office, hey, Glennis, I was, as I was coming out from the post office, um, sorry, I looked at my lights and realized that my passenger side light was out, like it wasn't glowing at all. The weather there is horrible. Oh, no, Kay. I'm so sorry. The weather here today was pretty good because I went to the auto parts store and I purchased a light bulb. And I looked it up online and it, it looks scary. I ain't gonna lie. It looks scary to change the light bulb myself. Thank you, Ivory. It looked a little scary to change the light bulb, but I just was like, I'm gonna try it because I called, I called the dealership. I have a little Honda Civic, and I called the dealership to see how much it, they charge, and she said it was anywhere from from forty five to sixty five dollars to change the light bulb, um, because, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get everything out. So I went to YouTube, like we all do. I went to YouTube to see if it had tutorials on how to change a light the light bulb. And it did. And the passenger side, thankfully, is the easier of the two to change. 
the driver's side takes all kinds of issues. And I said, well, I'm somewhat, somewhat uh, mechanically inclined. If I have something to go, uh, go by, hey, Kathy, if I have something to go by, I'm somewhat mechanically inclined. So, like, I've fixed the inside of a toilet before. Um, I've actually replaced an entire toilet before, including, like, the little wax ring and everything. Um, like, I've done a lot of those types of things. Um, and I've never laid flooring. That's one thing I've never done. I've never hung wallpaper. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at some things. So, um... Sorry. Um, super high winds. Temperature will be down to negative 30 at midnight. Iowa weather. It, it super is crazy. Goodness gracious. Hey, Safi. Been missing watching me. Well, I'm glad you found me, Miss Kathy. Um, so, I went to the auto parts store that I always go to when I need to get this or that, right? And they're the ones that helped me get the emissions taken care of when Meg, we had to get Megan's car. Y'all remember that whole debacle of trying to get Megan's car to pass emissions, right? So, um, anyway, so I went there and the guy that I normally talk to that helps me was busy with a commercial account. And I get it, you know, that's fine. So, one of the other employees there is a female and she's like, I'll try and help you. What's up? And I told her what I needed, and she gave me the part that I needed, a little bulb. And she goes, so who's putting this in? And I said, me. I hope I can figure it out. You've hung wallpaper no toilet, though. I feel you, Luann. And, she, and I'm like, um, I'm going to be doing it. Hey, Chris. I have my volume all the way up, and still the wind is louder than me. Oh, my gosh. I have to buy a whole new tire Monday. My grandmother bent my passenger wheel and tire rod. What did she? Did she? Ivory? Did she? Um, run over something? What or like? How did that happen? Um. But so she gave me this, and she looked at me. She goes, "Well, let me look at it. Maybe I can just do it real quick for you." And I'm like, "Okay, hey, Chris Kinley." And so I'm like, "Okay, absolutely." So, we go out, we pop the hood of the trunk, and she looks at it, and she goes, Okay, it's a tight fit, but I think I can do this. I've done, I've done a few of these before. And I'm like, yes, I will be, Chris. Yes. Um, and so, she starts, she goes in. She has a really, really rough time getting the little clasper thing to pull off of the light bulb. And she finally gets it off. Changes the, change, you know, takes the light bulb out, puts the new light bulb in, puts the little clasper thing back on, and she can't get the bulb back into the housing. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Hello. You're stormy on there, by the way. Oh, I know, I know. Just remind me when you come on there, because names are a little different until I learn who you are. So, um... Gosh, look at the look at these brows, y'all. They're just stopping me in my tracks. So anyway, she could not get the light back in the housing. And I was scared a little bit. Like, what are we going to do now? Kind of a thing. And she took off my air conditioning line. Um, what I didn't know is your air conditioning line snaps into little hooks all the way around your engine. I didn't know that. But she unsnaps them, unsnaps it. And I'm like, what is that? And I didn't even know it could unsnap. She goes, well... It's not something you really want to unsnap. Hey, Amy. And I'm like, well, what is it? And she goes, oh, that's your air conditioning line. If you get a kink in it, it's going to be a very costly repair. You just unsnapped it. What do you mean it's going to be a costly repair? And she's it's like, y'all. Ah! And so um, she works. She can't get it. She goes in and she gets pliers. Um, um. Uh, uh, I can't think of them. I can't think of the name of them. They're not needle nose pliers. They're the other ones. Anyways, that's irrelevant. She goes and she gets some hand tools and comes back out. And if you can't get your hand in the space, how are you getting a tool in the space, right? So 
she gets the tool in the space and she starts working it, can't do it, switches things around a little bit and she switches hands a little bit, goes back inside, comes back out, does that again, goes back in, comes back out with like this new sense of like, Dun, 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 like, you know what I mean? Like, she's going to take on the car and she's going to win, is what it looked like. And so, it literally was hysterical. Burp, 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 burp. And I just started praying, y'all. I was like, God, please let this chick get this light back in the housing because I'm going to be freaked out if I have to figure out how to go about and do it now. By the way, I'm putting concealer on my eyelid to replace all of that purple. It'll, it's just going to cover it up and give me a blank slate to start with, okay? Um, you guys, please sprinkle this out if you haven't yet. Make sure it's on um, public. Ivory, would you please take a link of this and go into the um, poll and put a link in the poll and say, Hey, y'all, she's live doing this look right now. Like, I don't know why, like, we have 50 set, now, I'm, I'm late, so that's partly my fault, and I'll take ownership. We have 57 votes. Where is everybody? I'm so happy that you 14 are here, but, y'all, where is everybody? Anyway, so, long story short, she gets it back in, you guys, and I'm like, praise baby Jesus. I go in. And the guy that normally helps me is there. And I wanted to let him know that Megan and I, we were able to get the car to start and pass the missions and all that. And so I was like updating him on the last story. What? Is it a zip forming? What it, what's wrong? No. Oh, on your lip? Ow. Yeah. You have stuff in your cabinet, I, I think. <laughs> on your way. Thank you. Thank you, Don. I appreciate you voting. Hey, Amanda. So, um, so I went in to, you know, give him an update that Megan's truck passed emissions, right? And he said, what's she here for? And I told him about the light. And I said, well, when the driver's side goes out, I think I'm just going to pay the, I think I'm just going to pay the, um, dealership to change it. Cause that one was, it was really hard. And he goes, don't do that. He's like, come back here. I will help you. I'll replace the light for you. And I said, how are you going to get your hands in there when she barely could? And she's got chick hands. Like, I have chick hands. He goes, I'll just take the battery out. Just come on back. It'll be fine. Hey, Cindy. And I was like, oh, well, okay. That'll work. I was like, oh, my gosh. Hey, Linda. I literally was like, okay. Y'all, $60, right? So, he, he goes, let's go outside and look at it just to make sure. And we went out and looked at it. He goes, honestly, this is perfect. He's like, we'll do this. And then he said, remember, we're not technically doing this. We're really not allowed to be doing this. And I was like, boom sauce, right? So, anyway. He's like, we're not technically allowed to do this, but... We we want to make sure that you're taken care of. He goes, because in the little area, in the little radius of where I went to, to the store to purchase a light bulb, there is literally, you guys, probably seven different auto parts stores that I could choose. Hey, Cindy. And he's like, you could go to any of these stores. You chose to come here. I want to make sure that you are taken care of when you leave, that your problem you came in with is resolved. He said, and if that means we're changing a light bulb, then that's what we that's what it is. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Y'all, he's not only does he make sure he goes over and above like that, but he also gives me a discount. Cause I where I work, I get a bit of a discount. <laughs> we just read the <laughs> Anyway, um, we're putting on high quality right now, you guys, because we're going to start building that sky blue color. So just the phrasing was so funny. <laughs> Are y'all like back seven years ago? What? Are y'all back like seven years ago in sixth grade? <laughs> Your art. <laughs> so you see, it's barely any color. It's just enough. See the difference? 
It's just enough to be a good transition. I'm not really building a depth of color right now. This is going to be the transition shade. I didn't even check to see if the palette that I'm using in a minute is still oh, still alive. Can somebody do that for me? Can somebody go and see if the um, palette, it's the Alley palette. It's not that one. Hang on, y'all. I gotta find it. Can somebody go and see if the Find Balance palette is still for sale on my site? Ivory. Thank you, go, sweetie. Put on a thank you. I appreciate it. Megan sounds happy. She is laughing, actually, at a friend of hers. He sent over, she's been Snapchatting with him um, yesterday and today. And um, she, he sent something over that was pretty funny, but it's kind of inappropriate for me to say. If you ask me over on the clickety clack for Pocket Angie After Dark, I'll tell you guys what it was. For those of you that don't know, I kind of do Pocket Angie After Dark over on clickety clack. Sometimes I'm going to do, um, actually, should we do that tonight? Should we do a half eye or a half face tonight and not do the other eye and do that over on the clickety clack? Maybe we should. I think we're going to do that. Y'all, I'm going to do one eye. I'm going to do one half of my face and the other half I'm going to do on clickety clack. Uh-oh. Shoot. Somebody just sent me a message asking if she's missing my live. Hang on, y'all. I can't text her. Y'all, half, half the people are not seeing my live. I can't believe it. Um, If you are friends with Kristen, somebody go find Kristen. I'm like, I'm like a shepherd who's lost sheep. I'm like, where are you? I'm going to find you. Okay, what is this? It may not let me find it. Did some, uh, yeah, I did say find balance. Yes. It's the find balance palette, Cindy. It's available. Awesome. This is the first time I've been able to see you in forever. Well, Michelle, I'm happy you're able to see me. Ivory, can you go find Kristen? Well, actually, hang on. Maybe I can do it. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me just a half a second, please. Give me just a half a second. Okay. I sent her a message. It's $40. It's still available. Yay. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, so this is the set that is available. Y'all, it is an amazing set. I really, really strongly, strongly suggest you get this set. Okay, it first of all, it is dirty, y'all. It's dirty because it's got glue and stuff on it. But this is the Fierce by Alley palette, okay? It comes with a mirror. None of our palettes come as a compact like this. None of them do. No, any none. Okay, it comes with a mirror. It comes with three eyeshadows. This is the only white, the only blue, and the only version of this green that we have in our entire line. Okay, this is the only palette we have available like this. Now, the two other Alley palettes, we have comparable shades in our line. This is not. And I know this is not one you might wear every single time, this is a palette every single one of you are going to need. I know the I know the colors look scary. I'm going to show you how you can turn this blue into an airy blue tonight, okay? I really want you guys, if it's budget friendly for you, I want you to go in and grab this tonight. And then while you're there, 
I want you to grab a mascara, okay? If you grab this and you grab a mascara, you're going to get free shipping. And every single week, we have decided, at least through the month of February, as a corporate company, we are doing a contest, if you will, to um, win free goodies. And when I win free goodies, the Pocket Fam wins goodies. So to be in the drawing this for this week, your girl has to sell as many of these as we can. Okay, but a minimum of four to even be eligible. So these are $22. I'm sorry, did I say $20 a minute ago? I'm sorry, these are $22. Um, so grab that, you guys. And if you choose to get that with one of the eyeliners, it counts. Okay? So this is an amazing set. This is a limited edition. Now, you guys all flipped out when we got to, I'm going to go in and start, you guys, the blue in the alley on the number 10 palette. I mean, the number 10 brush. Um, you all flipped out when it, um, when the spring palette sold out. Like, you guys didn't want the spring palette until it sold out. And then you wanted it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I can't get it for you now. And every, like, y'all, I cannot tell you how many messages I got over. I'm switching to the this little teensy brush. It's a double-ended number 20 and number 11. Hey, Debbie. I can't tell you how many people messaged me and said, Angela Renee, Angela Renee, I want that spring palette. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but it is sold out. It's sold out. I can't help you. So many people were super upset about it. And I was like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you because it's sold out. Like, I can't help you with that. So, I'm just telling you guys, don't sleep on this. All right. Because once it's sold out, we're not getting these colors back. Hey, Pam. Hey, Debbie. Like, literally, we're not getting these colors back once we sell out. They're gone. They're, like, way of the dodo bird. Gone. All right. So now I'm going to use that same blue and I'm actually not really even going to uh, clean off the brush because I want to keep this here. There we go. And I'm just putting some of that white right here, not really to make it pop white, but to make that blue lighter right here. Okay. And then we're going to keep building. Going to keep building the color. So I put some more of the blue on my brush. And I'm just kind of putting it right here. Remember, the brush. Thank you for journeying, Pam. Yes, I had an amazing night. I'll totally tell you about it in a second. Um, once you um, place the color, you can start building on the outer edge. And give you a little bit more of an in-depth color. Okay. So I went to. I had. I, I got the light fix. And from there I went to the dollar store. Because I needed some new tweezers. That I could just keep in my purse with me. Not necessarily the ones I keep at my table. So I just grabbed some from the dollar store. So that if I lose them. It's not the end of the world. And. Um, okay. I'm digging this. Alright. Y'all see how it's super light and airy. You see that? Now we're going to go in with um, my Morphe M431. We're going to go back into high quality and build that color up on the outer edge. Um, so from there, I came home and I went. I, I crawled into the bed because if y'all were with me at, um, at Pocket Angie After Dark last night, um, I didn't get much sleep. And we had a lot of fun over on Park, Pocket Angie After Dark last night. We had a lot of fun. But your girl's tired. So, I I did take a nap. Alright. So, I actually want to go up a color. Because that's not giving me the depth that I want. So, this is high quality. Let me show you. This is high quality. We're going to go up a step to... Ra uh, what is this? Radio Star. Okay? Up a step to Radio Star. What color are your eyes? My eyes are green. My eyes are green. Um, wearing blue always makes them look funny. I think it's a perception, um, Cindy, because I kind of feel the same way. Ivory, can you go find Kristen? Can you go on one of my other lives? I think she was on the live last night, I think. 
Kristen McEwen and find her and give her the link to get to this. I can't send a link. If I could, I would, but I can't send a link. And she is a lost sheep. She can't find me. Which tells me that's why the numbers are so low because she can't find me. And other people can't find me. But that's okay. At least we have Facebook back, right? So this is a radio star that I'm putting into the outer crease. So, but yeah, I totally took a nap and enjoyed my sleep. Totally did. Look at that. Boom. But I haven't eaten again. I haven't eaten. I'm, I'm okay. I'll have some soup and when we get off and that'll be that. You see what you can do? Awesome. Thank you, Ivory. Did you ever find out why? No, they I, they don't tell me, Michelle. They don't tell me, um, unfortunately. It's just one of those things. But we have safeguards in place. And if, I'd, if it wasn't for my messages going completely white, I probably wouldn't have even told you guys. Because it was super seamless. I still was able to come here live and nobody knew anything last night. Um, really, except my messages were completely white. And so that's why I send up a smoke signal every single time. Because if it happens, I want you guys to know I'm still here. Now, if you are a client of mine, you should have my phone number by now. Um, I'm giving that thing out like candy. You get my phone number and you get my phone number. We just went back in with blue. All right. Um, do you sleep? I did sleep in my contacts today. Yep. And as soon as I, right before I went live, I put some drops in my contact or in my eyes. I did sleep in my contacts tonight. I don't overnight usually. Usually I don't overnight, but I did, I did for my nap. I did so that I could get up and just, I, I had planned on curling my hair and everything for y'all, but that did not happen. So um, what am I missing? Tell me about this after dark. Um, somebody, can somebody please explain to Michelle where to go and how to find me and when to find me for Pocket Angie after dark? Um, Michelle, I don't speak about the details because I don't want to, um, Okay, but somebody will drop it in the messages and or in the comments and they will let you know exactly. And when I see it, I'll I will verbally alert. All right. Just wondering how you were put. Oh, I have my contacts in, girl. I have my contacts in. Yep, I got my contacts in. Okay. Boom sauce. All right. If you guys have not uh, put somebody on this journey with us. I don't know what you're waiting on. Time's wasted. Okay. Do y'all like this look? Are you getting that airy vibe that we were looking for in that super cute picture? Are you getting the airy vibe? All right, so Safi is writing. Okay, so um, Michelle, if you will read Saf Safer Beck's comment, if you will read that, she'll answer you. Okay. Um, or she has answered you, rather. All right. Just taking that brush again. Putting a little blue here. And then going into the white. Doing a little white there. Boom. Boom. There you go. That's how you do it. Thank you, Safi, for explaining to the pocket fam. All right, so now we're going to put on a little bit of eyeliner. Um, we're going to go in with, hmm, should we go in with black or should we go in with brown? Let's just do black. So if this was not the look that you voted for, you voted for the mustard one, have no fear. We are going to do the mustard one as well. 
It'll go into another vote somewhere else. And I'm going to try and give you guys voting options, which will also tell you if I'm live and where I'm live that day, hopefully. It is quiet. Yes, it is, Safi. Um, what did everybody eat for dinner? It is so quiet. Safi, if you're friends with any Pocket Fam members and they're not in here, feel free to tag them, girl. It is so quiet. And maybe it's because maybe it's because I came in here late tonight. And like I said, maybe people thought that I wasn't gonna go live in here, which is totally possible. And so they may have started watching a different live. I don't know. All right. We're going to leave that there because we may have to adjust it. Y'all know how we have to adjust it sometimes. So we're going to leave that there. Put on some primer spray. Beef stew and dumplings. Gosh, that sounds so good. Was it like potato dumplings or was it like um, dough dumplings? Make it sure. Primer. Primer spray, you guys. It's super important you have it. Homemade burritos with chili. I don't do burritos, but that actually sounds pretty good. Uh, pizza, birthday cake, and ice cream. Oh, my gosh. Birthday cake sounds so good. Uh, you think Ivory is already here? Ivory, yes. Ivory is going and finding um, Kristen and bringing her in. Um. I just can't send out links. It's not a good idea. Um, homemade dough dumplings. Oh, K. Marie, you're singing my language, my friend. I love me some dumplings. I do. Like um, um, Olive Garden's Yonky Soup. Y'all, it's good. All right, so I just got my church lady fan, and I just helped that drying process along. Okay, so now we're going to go in with my foundation. Okay, my fan brush. And we're just going to pop this on my face, just like this. Are you guys going to be able to come to Pocket Angie After Dark? I hope so. For your mother's 87th birthday? Wow. That's awesome. You went out for a birthday meal with your best friend tonight? Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. Kristen's here! My lost sheep! Yay! My lost sheep is here! Everybody, welcome Kristen. Y'all tell Kristen how worried I've been that she couldn't find me. I've been worried, girl. I was like, y'all, I have a lost sheep. And luckily, how did you find me? Did Ivory come find you, Kristen? Or was it my message that you found? Or did you just find from sheer stubbornness and looking me up? I'm on my personal page? Shut up. I thought I'm on my business page. I did not mean to be on my personal page. I meant to be on my business page. Whoops. I thought I was on my business page. God, I hope this doesn't shut me down, y'all. All right, so I'm going to be super careful then. No, apparently I'm the one going crazy because I thought I was on my business page. I did not know I was on my personal page. That's freaking me out now, but we're just going to go with it, y'all. Our steps are ordered. That explains it because I have an algorithm that is in the pits right now. I have an algorithm that is in the pits. My Remind app went to the wrong place. It sent everybody to the wrong place. Today's just a whole version of, I'll tell you guys over on After Dark. I'm so sorry. Hey, Selena, I'm sorry. 
Oh, Lord. If somebody wants to go onto the business page, and well, it's not even going to go in right. It won't. It go. It goes in as posts. It doesn't go in on the main part of the page. Shoot. Dang it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. If you guys want to give me a second, I can hop on through um, a different account to let people know. Well, but I've already put it in. Dang it, y'all. Hang on. I'm freaked out now. I'm freaked out. I'm so glad you guys are here. Y'all are the tried and the true, and I love you very much. Thank y'all. Um, I'm so sorry. It won't write. How do I find you after dark? I had to go out and come back in. Um, Safi, can you tell Michelle again? You were, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm actually, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to, um, log out on my computer. I'm going to log into a different, mm -hmm, and then I'm going to try and see if I can do a watch party or maybe something like that over there through, um, a different admin. I'm sorry, Selena. I'm so sorry. It was not intentional, you guys. I was rushing so hard. And I literally thought I was on the business page. So I'm a little shook. I'm a little shook. You have been since the beginning, Kay. You have. I appreciate you. Okay, let's go here. Free falling. You need to download. Yes, thank you. Um, M Michelle Saf just answered your question. All right, y'all. No, I'm free. Um. Nope, it's still that. It's still that, Michelle. And why can I not find it? There we wait. Well. I really hope to gravy that this doesn't screw me up, you guys. Hey, Megan. Oh, that's me. Never mind. I was like, what? Okay. Sorry, you guys. Thank you for your amazingness. Free fallen. Dang it. I think I figured it out, you guys. I think. Y'all, I think I found it. Okay. Score! Success! Yes, Cindy. Hey, Rhonda. <laughs> I put myself in the wrong spot, and I'm actually a little freaked out about it, but we're just going to press forward. We're going to press forward, and I just did a watch party over on the business page. So here we go. 
Hey, Jessica, welcome. Watch. It's just going to start. Boom, 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 now. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, we'll see. We'll see, you guys. So, if you guys, if you guys are watching this, yes, I did just get notified. Awesome, Kay. Thank you. So, if you're watching this on the watch party, come over to the main live. Um, or I'll, I mean, I'll monitor the comments over there after I get off of here. But, um, if you're on a watch party, come on over. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Um, Cindy, if you will scroll up in the comments, Saffir Beck explained exactly where to find Pocket Angie After Dark. Okay. We also call it a Pocket Fam Party. Um, there's so many different words to use on it. Like, for real, so many different words. All right, I'm going to go in with my amazing powder. This is my HD powder. I've already put my foundation on. I have already put my um, makeup on. I will tell you, I po the Pocket Angie After Dark. You're going to hop the watch party. Okay, thank you, Ivory. So, um, a bunch of people hopped off. Um, it's totally okay. So, I'm going to go to the watch party. The, I mean, the watch party. I'm going to go to the after dark, and I will do this side. So, if you missed if you missed any of the tutorial, come over to the, uh, the after party, and we'll do it there. You love that name, after dark? Pocket Angie after dark? Yeah, because it's a little, it's not G-rated like it is most of the time over here. Um, it's, it's, it's an after dark. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's after dark. And I typically go there midnight or later. That is the typical time frame. I, I do want to go there around 2 p.m. It seems like most of my viewers are actually active over there at 2 p.m. Eastern, which is crazy, but that's what it is. So, do you guys like that name? Rhonda likes the name. Does anybody else like that name? After Dark? So, I'm going in with my number 18 brush. And I'm going in with my number 9 powder. Oops. From that HD powder. You're so confused. Okay, I'm going to say, I can't. I can't talk about it, Michelle. I can't. I, I can't. I can't give you more of an explanation. If you will text message me on the phone, not here. If you will text message me, I will give you like a full rundown how to do it before I go there. Okay? But I cannot say it here. I just can't. Okay? Um, Safi, if you want to direct message her, you can. Um, or you can try and say it in a different way to Michelle in a comment here. Um, she's so confused. This has been a confusing night. I apologize for that. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. If you're just popping in, say hello. Say hello. Tap my nose. Hit that follow if you are not currently following me. All right? Tap me. Tap me. If you're not currently following me, tap my nose and do that. All right. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. I'm going to go with that number nine brush. It's okay, Michelle. Safi's going to message you, so make sure you go here on, on Facebook. Safi's going to message you, so make sure you go into your messages and look for the other folder or the filtered fo folder here. Um, so that you can get your message from Safi. If y'all aren't already friends, it's, it might be in the filtered messages. Look at this. You guys, I went through another round of, like, hyper growth over there again today. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not going to complain about it.
Mm, the crashing waves lift me up. Yeah, the talks are very like a radio station. Yes. Mm hmm. But I don't have, like, I don't necessarily have something to talk about. You know what I mean? I just go over there and we go with the flow. Whatever the flow ends up being, I'm okay with it. And we just kind of. So that's where you can come in and really have any kind of conversation you want to have in the in after dark. You think it sounds professional? So to me, it's a little less professional, which is why I'm saying it's after dark. It's actually slightly less professional for me, anyways. You got this live by going on my tablet and the watch party on my phone. What? Gotcha. Follow me over. I messaged her. I hope it's clear for you. Awesome. Thank you, girl. And I have to tell you, big shout out to Safi. Uh, you know, I try to give credit where credit's due. Um, Safi has helped me tremendously this month. Um, kind of keeping everybody together. Kind of keeping all my sheep where they need to be and telling pe people where to go and all of those things. So big shout out to to um, Safi. Big shout out to Ivory and Sierra for being on here and making sure that everybody knows how they can get color matched. They know how they can go and acquire what I am wearing. Um, all of those things, you know what I mean? Um, so big shout out to the three of y'all. Everybody in the pocket fam is super important, but the three of y'all have really stepped it up and helped me out. And I just want y'all to know from my lips, it doesn't go unnoticed. I am so thankful th for the three of you. I guess I used the wrong word. I meant, oh yeah, girl. Well, I mean, there are rules, but it's, it's, it's a little bit easier. It's like, here's, here's a good synopsis. Ready? Here's, here's a really good um, metaphor, maybe. It's like radio, like the radio on the radio station versus radio on satellite. Okay? Radio on a radio station, just a normal FM station. Hey, Kelly, a normal FM station, um... Like, they have, they're, they're restrained in ways, right? A normal FM station is kind of restrained. But on Sirius XM Radio, they have all the freedom to do whatever it is they want to do. That's what After Dark is like. Hey, Kelly. That's what After Dark is like. So... Um, you won't be on after dark, hardly. I have to, I'm exhausted, but I'll always make sure to watch you. It's okay, K. Marie, it's okay. I probably will, um, screen record tonight's, and it will be up on the, um, the video service that starts with a Y, Right? Um, been on the, yes, awesome, Ivory, thank you. So, if you're on the watch party, come on over to the main live. Come on over to the main live, and Ivory is trying to help you guys figure out how it is to get over here. So, thank you, Ivory, I appreciate you, girl. All right, so I'm just smoothing that blue out, and now we're going to go underneath the eye with that blue. Perfect explanation, right? Hey, Haley. Hey, girl. Okay, so I'm going to take that blue, this right here again. You guys, it is the Find Balance Palette by Allie. Thank you, Safi. Yes, what Safi said. It will probably be up there some point tomorrow. I'm going to have to um, cut a few things out of it and then take the time to let it actually upload. It takes a minute, you guys. But it will be in the description. So if you are not part of... Um, that particular platform, um, ask here in the comments and we will make sure you know how to get there. All right, so I'm going to take that blue again, okay, and I'm really tight lining 
right underneath my eye, my eyebrow or eyelashes, y'all. These are eyelashes. Okay, and I'm gonna go up right underneath that liner. Okay, and you're doing it with this super precise brush. This is not the normal one that I use for this. Normally, I use this, right? The reason I'm doing that is because I want it right tight up to my eye um, lashes. There we go. Look at that. Do you guys like this? I'm doing good. I'm freaked out because I came live on my main page and I'm freaked out, but it's okay. It's okay, Kristen. It's totally okay. You're here, girl. You came and found me. That's exciting that you, yes. Well, I already have been, Rhonda. I have been, but there's no way, there's no way to uh, retain after dark. There's no way to retain after dark except to do that so i've been i've been thinking for the past two days how can i retain that because i know there are a lot of people like Kay marie there are a lot of people that can't watch at night like they it's too late right and they catch me in the afternoon they do a replay well if that content the platform doesn't the platform does not support retaining a live then i need to do what i can do to get that media to them in a different way. So this is my new strategy. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know. But what I need from every single one of you guys is I need you, if you are cleaning the tub, if you are taking a shower, if you are driving in the car and you don't need your phone, if you are whatever you're doing, I need you to turn on my light. I need to plug my mirror up. I'll talk while I'm plugging up. I need you to turn on. Well, maybe I'll plug it up. Where's the cord? I need you to turn on my live or turn on, turn on the upload. Okay. I hope y'all read in between the lines. I'll tell you specifically on after dark what I need you to do. Um, but I'm going to need you to turn on the upload. And I'm going to need you to watch it in its entirety. Do not fast forward. Do not get off of it. Um, I'm going to need you to watch it in its entirety. Because, again, I'll explain more if y'all ask me over on After Dark. I will explain more of the information about this. But it matters. It matters the duration of watch time. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? I'm going to go with my water liner, you guys. I get 24-hour wear out of this. It is completely waterproof. Um, I love this liner. I've never found another liner that stays on my la or, um, water line. I will tell you, some people have oily eyelids. And you don't even realize it. But if you're finding, if you're finding that your liner doesn't stay as long as you expected it to or as long as you thought maybe it would, let me tell you a couple strategies. First of all, take, I know y'all are going to think I'm completely crazy, but just hear me out. Take a Q-tip and pull, pull your, la, your stuff down and just wipe down. Yes, I'm actually touching my eye with this. Wipe down your eyelid with a little Q-tip. And then, woo, and then go in under, like, with it, okay? Unless you're me. Yes. You can do that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Woo. So, this is, this is your suggestion, K. Marie. Get a Q-tip. Home all day, now retired. I love that, Rhonda. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that you comment. You're going to want to make sure that you sprinkle that out. You're going to want to make sure you do all of those things, just like you do here, but here is a little different. You can fast forward, right? There you can, well, you can. You're, you have the ability to. But if you're trying to solely do it to support me, I need you to watch the live, not the live, the upload in its entirety, okay? You guys can help my views 
skyrocket that way. And that's, that's the currency there is all of the things. It's not just one or the other, but that's a variable over there that works into the equation. So once you have dried off your waterline, you're just going to go back and forth. Until you get an even dark line. If your line does not look like this to start with, you are going to have a chance that it's going to wear out throughout the day. You need to have a very even line. It needs to be a thick line. Okay? That's going to stay all day long until I decide to remove it. All right? That's how you do that, my friends. Also, you want to make sure that you're putting it in the correct spot, okay? If we, oh, let's do it, I'm not, I can't write, I can't do it over here, but if you look, there is actually so much surface area here that you can put your um, liner on. You want to make sure that you put it just on the outer, you see how there, there's a part of my um, lid that does not have any liner on it at all. The liner is on the outside right by the lashes or the shelf. You see that? It's immediately right there. If you put it, this may be your issue, Kay Marie. If you put the liner too far in your eye, it's not going to stay, y'all. Our bodies are just chemically going to kick it out, okay? It needs to be sitting on the shelf of your eye. And sometimes that takes practice to figure out where that is on your eyeball, okay? Can I get prayers, plea for my babies? Um, not feeling well and for us because having a child is harder than I thought. I'm reading labels on everything I have. Yes, it is a hard, hard game. And I'm so sorry that you're going through that. But girl, yes, I had to learn how to read labels. I don't know how old your child is, Haley. But when Megan was in fourth grade, we started this. And in fifth grade, it was very big. Megan was allergic to, or not allergic. We had to remove all dairy, all wheat, um, all um, nuts from her vocabulary. Now, she wasn't allergic like to peanuts like yours is, right? She wasn't allergic to peanuts. But we were trying, she had this rash thing on her lip that, oh, no, that wasn't in fifth grade. What am I talking about? That was in second grade. She had this rash on her lips that would not go away. It wouldn't go away. So what I taught her to do is I taught her, I empowered her how to read the ingredients. So literally every trip to the store was at least an hour long. Every trip. Because we would take the time to literally flip the, the package over and we would go through each and every ingredient. And if we didn't know what it was, we would literally pick up the phone and we would Google that particular ingredient every single time. And she got to learn what was gluten, what was gluten-free, what she could eat, what she couldn't eat. And I wanted to empower her in that manner because she was going to be at school and away from me. She was going to be away from me and could not necessarily... That's my exact problem because it stayed all day on my eye shelf. There you go. There you go, girl. So you're just putting it too far in. Pull it out. Put it on the outside. Or dry it. One or the other. Um, so I just empowered her because there were going to be times she was going to be at other people's houses. There were going to be times that she was at school. And she needed to be able to read the labels for herself. And so I just, I empowered her and it even now is paying off because she will research ingredients and she's like, no, I don't want to put that in my body for X, Y, and Z. And she's an adult and she can do that. And I really think that, I think that made the difference for us is empowering her to know what she could and couldn't eat because her body would reject it. Now, I will tell you, she grew out of it. Megan grew out of it. She doesn't have to deal with, ooh, that's a lot. She didn't have to deal with that um, after fifth grade. Well, was it fifth grade? Fifth grade was when she received the, um, We I remember we were on a trip to the Martin Luther King Center. And she received word from um, her doctor that all allergies were gone. We had her allergy tested finally. Um, 
and we started it in second grade and it was it was hard y'all but then okay so here's the real tea ready here's story time she actually stole a friend's a really good friend's um snack and got in disciplinary um uh, problems at school because of the snack literally all through high school, all through elementary school, all through middle school, this is the only disciplinary action Megan ever had was stealing a snack out of a friend's backpack because she was starving and it was in second grade. She was starving because she wasn't eating because everybody around her had dairy stuff and what they provided in the lunch that day, she couldn't eat. So she was hungry, so she took somebody's snack that she knew she liked. And she's like, well, if I'm going to get in trouble, I'm really going to get in trouble. And so, and she did. She really got in trouble. But that's what she did. So, um, but she did, she did outgrow it eventually in fifth grade. I remember very vividly she outgrew it. So, um, we had a little party that day because my burden was lifted that day. I didn't have to stress so much about what she was going to eat and all that jazz. Y'all, I'm trying to find my mascara. I took it in the, I took it in my purse with me last night because we were running so late to the show. If you are on the watch party, please come back over to the main live. Soy is so hard. Soy is a hard one. There is soy in everything, even more than gluten. There is soy in everything. Um. Two and symptoms just started. I would say start empowering him now. He might he he can't read the ingredients yet, right? Welcome everybody. If you're new, tap my nose, hit the follow. But um, he can't read labels yet, but he he can definitely see the packaging. So start teaching him special things. And I would tell you, you need to change your eating style to match his eating style. Um, that is the biggest benefit for you is he's going to see mommy and daddy eating it and that's what he's going to want to eat and he won't realize that that is actually what's good for him and that the other things are going to deteriorate his body. Does that make sense for you? Does any of this read true for you? Um that's that's what I would suggest. Moms on here and dads, if you're if you're a dad on here, would you guys suggest what I'm saying? Would you guys suggest that they model just eating what he's able to eat? And kind of including him in the process. Um, there are others, but not high. Those are all at four. The doctors is, yeah. Well, those are ones that can kill. I will tell you, she had a lot of edamame. A lot of edamame when she had to go off wheat and stuff. And that's all 100% soy. So, I feel your pain, girl. I feel your pain. Because that's so hard. Um, there's soy in everything. So, all right, just putting a little bit of that white color. Again, this palette is life. Every single one of you guys need this palette in your life. When it sells out, you can't, you're, you're not going to be able to get these colors back. I don't know what is going to be in the spring launch. I have no idea. We haven't been told yet, but <clears throat> this this is very spring to me. This feels very spring. Even though this was in our fall launch, this feels very spring to me. So I really, really, was it spring or was this, wait, hang on y'all. Yeah, this was spring. No, 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 this was fall. Anyways, I digress. I suggest every single person get this fi uh, find balance palette. It's really amazing. We are definitely, I don't know what might happen with the allergies if they will get worse or not. Megan outgrew hers, sweetie. Megan outgrew hers. Yes, most definitely, and get rid of the things from the house he can't have. Exactly. Get rid of the things. And make sure also that you're a, that the people that keep him are aware. I will tell you that um, Megan danced with a friend. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of mascara. Megan danced with a friend, and her, her sister had a peanut allergy, and do you know that that child was with me in my care uh, probably five or six times, and I never once knew she had a peanut allergy? That could have been literally a catastrophic mistake on her mother's part for not telling me. Now, her older sister, who Megan was friends with and danced with, she knew, and she knew what to do 
if the little girl had a peanut issue. Like, she knew what to do. But uh, the people who are keeping your kids should really, really know. I mean, it should be something that is told. I wish that EpiPens were so in, so that were widely available and inexpensive, so every household could have one. And I wish the ex, like the expiration date was longer. You know what I mean? Because I know you have to replace them. I think yearly. I think, but like if every household could keep an EpiPen like we keep Advil, it would be helpful. It really would, especially if you have kids that come over and, you know, visit with your children often, you know. Um, my son's allergies totally changed after puberty, and uh, he totally didn't eat the things he couldn't eat. Yeah. And May, I think that's what happened with Megan is when she hit puberty, um, all of her allergy, all of her allergies went away. Like all of them went away. So, just keep keep the faith, sweet girl. Keep the faith. I know it's hard, but you got this, mama. You got this. There we go. Okay. So pretty, y'all. I'm digging this tonight. I'm digging it. It's a lot of blue, but I'm digging it. So, for uh, Cindy asked about having green eyes and looking, feeling like her eyes look a little funky because of the blue and the green. So, this is what I was telling you. It is a perception thing, okay? I could totally go there with you right now and feel like I look a little weird with the blue. I could totally go there with you right now. But I don't. I can hear you, but I don't. Right? I could totally feel it. All right. So, you guys, this is the look. I'm not going to remove my unibrow because we're going to keep that for the after dark. Okay? But this is my look. I'm going to spray. Oh, wait. I got to do my lips, but we'll do that in a second. So, what do you guys think for lips? Should we just do a gloss? Or should we do uh, something? Well, the doctor said to also keep Benadryl on hand. Yes. Yes. Benadryl for sure. I love it. I have a friend messaging me YouTube videos. And she's like, I cannot look away. I cannot look away. So, before I clickety-clack, I'm going to have to see what she's talking about. What do you guys think? What color should we do? I want to keep it on the light side. Do you guys think ruby chocolate? Do you think birthday cake? Do you think just like a humble gloss? What do y'all think? Oh. Yeah, I typically keep Benadryl in my house for that very reason. Where's my birthday cake? <clears throat> so, for those of you that don't know, this is our currently available piece of cake slice, okay? Piece of cake slice. We are currently still in a, mm -mm, for this as well, okay? So, this is our brand new color, liquid Benadryl. This is our color right here. Birthday cake is so, pr Woo! It's so pretty and I'm throwing things. Luckily, we're durable. Um, and this is the Dark Nude Liner. It comes as a set, you guys. You can save about $6 if you choose to get it in this formulation. But this is a limited edition in this packaging. Okay? It is a limited edition. <clears throat> okay, I see y'all are like half and half. Y'all are like, hmm, I'm not sure. So, I'm trying to decide, y'all. Hang on, let's just do this. We might be able to see better if we do this. Okay, doing this, I feel like this, it's not going to be enough color. Like birthday cake, although it's beautiful, which it is, it's not going to be enough color. So I think I'm going to throw on the ruby chocolate, which is still a nude, but it's on the pink side of nude. 
Um, and then if we want to, we can always put Humble over the top of it. Okay. This is a Lime Life liner. It's just our older version of it. It's not a self-sharpening. It's a twisty. So this is Dark Nude. Can I see a show of hands who is going to come over for um, After Dark? So this is the color that goes in the birthday cake collection, okay? This is the color. Um, if you get the birthday cake collection with birthday cake, it comes with the dark nude, which I just put on. All right, so we're going to do ruby chocolate. I will tell you guys, I love birthday cake, though. I really do. Don't sleep on the birthday cake. Don't sleep on it. It's amazing. I need to put a piece of tape so I get a clean line. Half lip. Yes, Cindy. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Thank you, guys. I did line it. It's okay. We'll leave the line. I did almost forget, though. One side. I hope that doesn't look so misshapen. A little misshapen there, y'all. Okay. Do we like it? Y'all are so good to help me because, like, literally, I'm tired. I, I, I'm not tired now, but I slept. So, I'm a little off my P's and Q's tonight, to be very honest. I feel a little, woo, a little bit. All right, I'm going to take some of that white. I know I already sprayed my face, but it's okay. I'm going to go in with this number 19 brush. It's super small. I'm going to go back into that Fine Balance palette and get some of that white. And I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight there. Hey, Sierra. Hey, Lee. We're about to go to After Dark, so you guys are going to want to come to After Dark, okay? Y'all are going to want to come to After Dark, because we're about to head over there. Hey, Ashley. Hello. Because half of your face is missing. Exactly. I literally forgot, though. Can somebody please tell people how to come find me After Dark? Humble lip gloss. Somebody give them an, an idea how to find me after dark, and let me explain what's going to happen, okay? I'm going to end this. I'm going to take a picture before I do anything else. Before I do anything else, I'm going to take a picture, and then I'm going to go over to what Ivory just said, and I'm going to make the promo to tell people what's going on, and give me about three or four three to five minutes to do all of that because I need to um, give that announcement time to circulate to get people aware, okay? Okay, so y'all read the past few comments. It will tell you where to come. Because we're going to do a pocket Angie after dark and do the other half of the face. All right? Okay. I love y'all. Make sure that you go love somebody well. Make sure you do something for somebody else to make their life a little bit better. I will tell you guys that over this past month, a lot of you have shown up for me in more ways than just purchasing. You have checked on me. You have made sure that I'm okay. You, When my messages go white... You guys immediately check on me, which is amazing. If you don't have my phone number yet, message me. I will give you my personal phone number so that you can contact me when you're ready to need help to arrive at this. Okay, does that make sense? Sorry, I'm talking cryptically, but it's life. <laughs> okay, I love you all very much. We'll see you very soon. Like... In a few minutes, five minutes. Bye, y'all.